everybody. I'm glad you are here. It's hard to believe that this is Friday already. It's our last day of the week. It's gone by so fast for this March break that was in April. Um, well, let's recap the fruit of the spirit. You guys help me at home. We're going to do all nine of them right now. Ready? One, two, three, go. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And I hope you guys are able to do that at home. If not, listen to the songs a few more times. I'm sure you'll get it soon. Now we're on the two last ones today, gentleness and self-control. And do you know what, guys? These are probably the two hardest ones for me, to be gentle and to have self-control. And in fact, that's why I wear this bracelet. And on this bracelet, on this metal part right here, it actually has a Bible verse to remind me of God's promise that he will help me do these things. Let me read the, the Bible verse for you. It comes from 1 Timothy 6, verse 11. It says this, Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Those sound really similar to the fruit of the Spirit, don't they? And whenever I feel like I need to be gentle and I'm having a hard time, or I need to be self-controlled and I'm having a hard time, I just look down at my bracelet, and I'm reminded that God is the one who helps me do those things, right? The fruit of the Spirit. God is the one that helps me do it through the Holy Spirit. So I'm reminded, and that gives me the strength I need to do what I need to do. So to be gentle is actually to be very careful, very caring, and loving. To be sure that we're not hurting anybody, not hurting them physically, but also not hurting them, their feelings either. Like when we hold a little baby, and we look at this little baby and we see they are little and precious. We need to be gentle with them and caring with them. We treat them differently. We're very careful around them to make sure we don't hurt them. And we're sometimes really quiet so we don't scare them. Those kind of things. And then also to be self-controlled. Self-controlled means to be able to stop doing something before we sin. To remember that God can help us to be cooled down if we're angry. And to stay away from that temptation to be mean or selfish. You know, sometimes it feels like we're not in control of our bodies, doesn't it? We feel like we just need to either scream or throw a tantrum or roll around. Or, or sometimes we even feel like we need to hit something. But you know what? God gives us self-control. And sometimes we just need to remember that. That the Holy Spirit will help us be controlled. So I want you guys to remember that today, that yeah, we can be gentle. We don't want to be mean to other people. We want to be nice to them and careful around them that we don't hurt them or their feelings. And also that when we feel like we're losing control of ourselves, we feel like we're getting really upset, that God has given us a spirit of self-control. And we can trust in him to help us not be tempted, to get out of that temptation to sin and be, um, to, to be angry and to maybe do things that aren't so nice. So those are the fruit of the Spirit, guys. There's all nine of them, and God helps us use them all in our lives to be more like Him and to show love and mercy and thankfulness, show everything to people around us. So let's pray before you guys get on to your last day of activities, and it's going to be a fun day, I'm sure. God, thank you for these kids once again. I thank you for this week. Lord, would you continue, even after this week, to remind us of the fruit of the Spirit, not only that we remember the words, God, but that we would be able to live them out in our lives through your strength. And God, we just ask for today, you would again keep us safe. Would you allow us to have some fun with our families as we, um, we just learn more about you and we, we learn more about how to be gentle and self-controlled. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, I hope you had fun this week. Today is going to be fun. And I will see you guys around sometime soon, probably on another video in weeks to come. So have fun today, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.
The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. If you want to be a watermelon, you might as well hear it like you can't be the fruit of the spirit. Cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, taste, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Hmm. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. If you want to be a grape, well, you might as well hear it. You can't be the fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, good, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, good, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. One more one. What's another fruit? The fruit of the spirit's not a pineapple. No. The fruit of the spirit's not a pineapple, sorry. Well, if you want to be a pineapple, you might as well hear it. Now you can't be the fruit of the spirit. Because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control.